We're joined now by Arizona Republican Congressman Andy Biggs, who is a member of the House Judiciary Committee. Congressman, great to see you. Um, in your well-written op-ed, you remind readers that James Comey's the guy who purposely leaked government documents to trigger the special counsel. I'll take it a step further and say there's now evidence that Comey played a direct role in the appointment of Robert Mueller by Rod Rosenstein. All three are thick as thieves, have been working together for years. Are you convinced that because of them and their uh, partisan bias that this is now an illegitimate investigation of President Trump? Yes, I am. We first called on that uh, Mueller to step down six months ago in June because we had indicia that this had happened. But now it is, as you said, it's, it's, there's no doubt here. Uh, Mr. Comey orchestrated this thing with his, uh, his uh, former protege, uh, Rod Rosenstein, and uh, with, to get his mentor, uh, Robert Mueller, appointed a special counsel. This special counsel investigation probably would never have unfolded, but for the fact that Mr. Comey, when he was director of the FBI, uh, gathered some evidence, he wrote a memo, and then when he was going on his way out, he leaked it to a buddy who he knew would get it placed in the, in the media. And thus, we, we, we have this ridiculous, broad, overly broad investigation going now that, that was supposed to be on whether the Trump team, uh, when he was a candidate, was uh, conspiring with the Russians to affect our elections. We know that, was, that isn't true. Right. That didn't happen. Right. But, but now, now they're going way beyond this, and it becomes a witch hunt when you're abusing your power, and this what this looks like very clearly. Speaking of, and, speaking yeah. of James Comey, um, as I read the law, it, it is a crime to convert government property to your own use and then leak it to somebody who's unauthorized. Uh, and especially if the documents that Comey allegedly took with him contain classified material, shouldn't there be a criminal investigation of James Comey? And if he broke the law, he should be prosecuted. Well, I don't, I don't disagree with that at all. I agree with it 100 percent. But here's your problem. Um, the, the people who are number two in command at the DOJ is Rod Rosenstein. Right. Uh, and he's, he's pals and since, with these guys. He's pals with these guys. You had Andrew McCabe, who just is now finally being forced out, but he's going to retire with full benefits, et cetera. He was a, a big player in the FBI side. So you get this incestuous um, uh, this interlocking uh, group of senior officials in our top law enforcement in the country. And you wonder why people are saying, hey, there's something wrong there. And there is something wrong there. And as, as you pointed out in the, in the tease, Devin Nunes is saying, look, you've been stonewalling us. We want right. this information. Give it to us. You smell when a cover I up? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I do. I mean, which is why Rosenstein has been stonewalling, right? He doesn't want to hand over evidence that might discredit not only himself, but the entire investigation. Oh, absolutely. When we had them in the Judiciary Committee, um, I asked Rosenstein for this for, repeatedly for things. Everybody else in the committee did. And it was constantly, well, we're being, you know, that's in, being investigated by the Inspector General, etc. They are doing everything they can to stonewall Congress and the American public on these investigations. Right. And, uh, and I tell you what, the one thing that came out of that is both Director Ray and G Attorney General Session agreed that if the Inspector General finds anomalies in the Hillary Clinton uh, cover-up and the ex fake exoneration, right. which we already know exists, they both said they would reopen those investigations. Do you, do you think so, these people um, in the FBI, Comey, McCabe, Baker... Maybe Rebicki, uh, Peter Strzok, Lisa Page, were all engaged in a plot to absolve Hillary Clinton for political reasons to clear her path to the presidency. It sure looks that way, and that's why I think they're not giving us all the evidence right. that we asked for. And that's obstruction I mean, of justice, isn't it, Congressman? Well, it's interference it may, with it the due be. administration yes. of justice for a reason other than law and facts, but for political reasons. That's obstruction. That. That is correct. And the fact is, Congress is trying to get that information, and they're stonewalling us. They're, they're stoning us, and they're keeping us from getting that information, which prevents us from giving it over to—but who are we going to give it sure. We don't prosecute it. It should go to the Department of Justice. Well, who's it going to go to? 
Rod Rosenstein. Right. Isn't that exactly why you can't trust the DOJ to investigate themselves and their division called the FBI? This demands exactly. a second special counsel, somebody who is neutral, fair, and impartial to evaluate all of this and bring criminal charges where appropriate. Absolutely. And, and you, you, you would need a better team than Mr. Mueller did, because Mr. Mueller's team, if you look at it, you couldn't have accidentally gotten such a biased team. I mean, that you're just, you know, randomly drawing, just saying, hey, this guy looks good, this, this lady looks good. These people all have an unfair bias uh, in favor of Hillary Clinton and against uh, and Donald why Trump. why do you think he did that? One is tempted to say because Mueller decided before he even assembled the team that he was going to do his level best, best, notwithstanding the evidence, to try to bring down Donald Trump? It sure looks that way. I mean, we don't have the evidence all put together because they're kind of stonewalling us. But, I mean, why else would you have Strzok and Page? Why else would you have uh, half the team that's still there that needs to, needs to go? He needs to clean out. He's not going to clean out. So somebody's got to clean it out. Yeah. And basically, that's why I say they should just pull the plug. This investigation is so tainted, whatever they get out of it is not going to be credible. And the and we taint need to is go back. reinforced by the fact that last July, when Mueller first learned about Peter Strzok's anti-Trump uh, text messages, he didn't go to Congress and tell them about it. Congress kept asking and asking, why did you dump Peter Strzok? And Mueller wouldn't say, and neither would Rosenstein. And, and doesn't that yeah. speak volumes that they were oh. trying to hide something they knew would discredit what they were doing? Oh, absolutely. I think I think that uh, questions were starting to be asked about June, about what was going on. This is going on. Uh, they find out they didn't find out through their own internal vetting process. They found out through the inspector general. Right. They, found, they found out through FOIA requests. And then they then people are saying, well, they did the right thing. They you know, they transferred. Yeah. Well, well, how much damage did Peter Strzok and Lisa Page do before they were yeah. finally booted from the case? <laughs> Congressman, we've got to leave it at yeah. that. Uh, Congressman Biggs, thank you so much. Appreciate your editorial, Thanks, your op-ed. We encourage